Uh, you already know what it is. GMOG Media TV, GMOG Sports TV, Great Man of God Media TV, back with another one. All right, family. So coming across uh, Terrence Bud Crawford's uh, IG post, so he decided to share some uh, interesting information regarding his past and present championship straps. And of course, we all know uh, most recently that Terrence Crawford was stripped of his IBF title and the title was elevated to Jerome Boots Ennis. And of course, ever since that time, Jerome Boots Ennis and Terrence Crawford have been going back and forth pretty, you know, I would say pretty conservative back and forth, nothing disrespectful, but they have been going back and forth. And the latest has been Jerome Boots Ennis went on an interview and basically told Terrence Crawford, come get your belt back. If you want your belt back, come get your belt back, right? Um, so it looks like Terrence Crawford responds with an interesting post on his IG story. I'm going to play the clip real quick, and um, I'll come back with my commentary. So here we go. I'm just reflecting on my accomplishments at my mama house where my belt's at. All right, so based off of that, you know what I'm saying? To me, I'm, I'm taking it in a lot of different ways, right? I'm, I'm He's at a point of his career where uh, Terrence Crawford's at a point of his career where it seems to me that he's saying that belts don't matter anymore. You take the IBF strap, he publicly said, fuck the IBF. He said, he said, fuck the IBF. He said that in an interview. So now he's at a point of his career where belts don't really matter to him. It made him who he is today, but a, a belt don't make or break him, right? A, a belt don't make or break him. So that's what I'm getting from that post that he did, is that a, a belt don't make or break him. And um, that, that hey, I can, I, can, I can agree with that. I can agree with that, you know, that belts don't make or break a fighter. You know, you got to get to a point where you are the commodity. You are the person that, uh, draws interest to fans, right? And that, that puts butts in seats and things of that nature. And the, 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 the person that elevates the sport by putting on tremendous fights, whether it's a championship title or not, but you come in there in, in that way. And guys like, whether you want to agree with it or not, guys like Tank Davis is doing that despite the level of opposition that he's facing. He's still putting butts in seats. He's still selling out arenas. He's still a pay-per-view attraction. And that's the point that Terrence Crawford is trying to make in that video, right? Uh, and I agree with that. I agree with that assessment that he did. And that's also replied to Jerron Boots Ennis. He's basically saying, I don't need that belt. That belt don't make me. And if I want to get it back, I can get it back. But right now, I got, I got bigger fish to fry, which is him going up and fighting Canelo Alvarez. That's his main goal because he's already sparring at 168. And I've already said in a previous video regarding that rematch of Errol Spence, I, I, you know, that fight, there's no fight date. Showtime is no longer carrying boxing anymore. That fight is up in the air, even though there is a rematch clause. And we saw a recent photo with uh, Errol Spence out there, you know, trying to, uh, trying to uh, get dogs, cane corsos and breed those dogs. He looked tremendously out of shape in that in that photo. So fighting is not on his mind, clearly. And, um, you know, I don't blame Terrence Crawford for looking past Errol Spence. Because, Errol, obviously, Errol Spence is looking past his fight, too, because he's not even in fighting shape at this point. Nonetheless, uh, interesting back and forth between Terrence Crawford and Jerome Bruce Ennis. Will they be in the ring? I highly doubt it because, you know, again, uh, Terrence Crawford was on record saying that if he fights, Jerome Bruce Ennis is a lose-lose situation for him. You know, it's funny how you think about that, both dynamics, because Terrence Crawford fighting Jerome Bruce Ennis is lose-lose for Terrence Crawford, and Canelo Alvarez fighting Terrence Crawford is a lose-lose for Canelo Alvarez. See how that, see how that works out? That's, that's, that's very interesting. Very interesting. But uh, those are my thoughts on that, family. Leave your comments down below about that post. Uh, did I interpret that right? That's how I interpreted it. I, I interpreted that is that uh, Terrence Crawford don't care about belts no more. 
You know, he don't really care about belts. Uh, and belts don't make him. You know what I'm saying? If he goes up to fight, he wants to make history, wants to make career high paydays, you know what I'm saying? And come with the accol accolades, but a belt don't make him. That's how I interpret it. But let me know your thoughts down below, family. Until next time, signing out.